We're watching these storms moving across Wisconsin right now, and they will be getting into our area very soon. But there's a severe breakdown we're looking at right now. Now, of course, we're seeing the worst case scenario, which is going to be we see this morning. No real cloud cover. We don't really see any of the storms in the morning and then we afternoon comes. We have a lot of that primed environment and that causes a lot of those storms to really fire up. But if we look at the bust scenario, well, we're going to be seeing cloud cover in the morning. Could we see a handful of rain chances in a thunderstorm or two in the morning? Not going to be severe and it will suck up a lot of that energy from the environment. Not really let us have a lot of those storms in the afternoon, we could be seeing few, if any, severe storms as we head into the afternoon. So we're hoping for that scenario right there as we get throughout the rest of our day. Now, as we get into the 10 day forecast, it's going to be very busy for the next several days. We're looking at these storms for today, and then the heat and humidity will remain for Thursday and Friday. So it's going to be staying hot as we get into that Thursday and Friday time frame, especially Friday ahead of this, uh, this next little frontal system that will luckily this time actually bring down those temperatures as we head into from Saturday and from Friday into Saturday overall this next weekend is looking great. We'll be seeing temperatures back around average and even in the next week, those temps staying close to average with mostly to partly cloudy skies all week long, much quieter as well. We're hoping we can get through this week and get into the next weekend. Things will be doing much, much better, Tricia. All right. Thank you, Martin. On to health news.